Hello guys and welcome to another quick review of one of our new patches. This one is called Fatbase and it's basically a processing plugin for bass sounds. It's a small little thing that we made for your convenience, you know, very very easy to use, but at the same time extremely useful for cooking up the bass in your tracks. If you like the sound of that, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe, we appreciate it, so you don't miss out on any of our future releases. Ok, so what does Fatbase do? Well, in a nutshell, it fattens your bass, adding clarity and a thumb to it, increasing its power as described by the main knob of the thing, but it also respects the quality of the sound you use it in. So it adds harmonics, rectifies compression, and it also lets you control some small things like EQ to better fit the sound you want from it. Let's just try it and you'll see what I mean. These are some bass samples that I'm using, including a growl and a riz. I've sent them all into a single mixer channel with no processing whatsoever. I'm gonna disable fat bass. And this is how they sound. Not bad, they're pretty good on their own, right? So this is how they sound after using fat bass. So yeah, fat bass turns any good sounding bass into an epic one. Which doesn't mean you always need to use it, but take this for an example. If you have a bass that you like, but you know, it doesn't sound all the way there yet, and it lacks clarity or consistency, fat bass will pretty much fix it. And I'm serious by the way, it will make it very much usable for your track. However, if you have an already good sounding bass, like in this example, you might also want to use fat bass, so on top of being a good bass, it also fits in the track, gaining a lot of clarity and energy. It's designed to be useful for when you want that extra oomph so your bass cuts through the mix, especially in heavy ones where it needs to be very much in your face. So let me explain what you can do with this in context, using an actual drop. But before that, let me remind you that you can join our Discord server. We're making a little community there to help you with your production related questions, and we're also gonna give away freebies if you're part of it, so don't miss out. Alright, we have this nice little loop here, it sounds like this. If we use our samples here, and I'd make sure to use sidechaining too, we get this. You can instantly hear that it's decent, not a bad idea by any stretch, but the bass gets buried in the mix pretty easily. If we play it solo, it's fine, but with everything mixed together, it sounds like it's crying for help in a corner like, hey guys, I'm, I'm still here, which we obviously do not want. The bass here is supposed to be the main character of the drop itself, so let's use fat bass to fix that. Hi, it's me from the future. I've completely forgot to mention the use of the input gain. <laughs> so to put it simply, there's always a limiter acting on the input before all of this stuff. You can adjust the volume if it's too low, but if you increase it, it will not clip. Instead, it will continue to compress the sound to remove dynamics. Let's say you're working with something like this. We can first check if the volume is hitting 0 dBs, and after that we can keep pushing it to hear how flat we want the overall sound. It's just a thing to keep in mind. Let's keep going. Now, sometimes you'll notice that it's already done. The default preset does work, but because the plugin is already very straightforward, let's see all it can do. The main knob is power and it delivers on its promise. As we increase it, it rectifies the dynamics of the sounds, adding upwards and downwards compression across the spectrum. You can bypass the effect right here for a quick A-B comparison. I would say it sounds good turned up all the way, so we're just leaving it as it is. Alright, so this is obviously designed to be used in your bass, so you can tweak how much saturation you apply to your sub and the rest of the sound separately. This is just to adjust it to your liking. If you feel like it now has power, but the sub frequencies are still somehow weak, this guarantees that they're fully present. Or you can find yourself with a bass that's very muffled, so increasing the saturation on mid-high will fix that. For this example, I think I'm gonna crank them just a little bit. Likewise, if they sound too harsh, you can dial them back a little. Just finding a balance that works with the bass you're using, but more importantly, hearing how it works in context. Easy enough, right? Well, let's say you're still not satisfied or you need to tweak it further. You can EQ your bass right after, so you absolutely nail the sound you need. Let's see if we can make this bass fit even more. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, absolutely. And last but not least, we have the stereo knob. Sometimes you'll want to use a bass that for some reason it's in mono, or it just narrows something, or it just sounds too centered for some reason. The stereo knob creates a safe stereo separation to your mids and highs, meaning it doesn't create phase problems when you play your mix in mono, and also doesn't mess with the sub, so you can be sure to use it as much as you need to make your bass sound absolutely massive. We'll add just a little in this bass as it doesn't need much. The gate button right here makes sure your bass sound doesn't resonate after it stops playing. Sometimes your sounds or samples will have this little resonance right here that you can easily trim off if it's a sample, but maybe not if you're using a synth. So the gate will take care of that. Okay, and to finish this video, don't forget the good old trick of automating things. In FatBass you can absolutely automate everything easily, so if for example you need to open up the stereo field in your bass in only one section of your track, you might benefit from it doing something like this. Now your bass will adapt to the context of the track as it develops. Alright guys, that's all for today and now that we're here, I want to remind you of our dubstep bundle with our most iconic patches, sample packs and tools including Fatbase itself that will absolutely make a difference in your production workflow. You can get Fatbase and many other useful stuff at audesign.store, so check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!